we want to use the distributive property to simplify the given expressions. The distributive property is given here below where we have a times the quantity b plus or minus c equals a times b plus or minus a times c. Notice how each term inside the parentheses is being multiplied by a. So for our two examples though it looks a little bit different because notice how inside the parentheses we have a trinomial or three terms but the process will be the same. We'll multiply each term inside the parentheses in this case by negative three. So we'll have negative three times negative five x plus negative three times three minus negative three times four y. So again we'll have negative three times negative five x plus negative three times three minus negative three times four y. Now we'll find each product. Negative three times negative five x is positive fifteen x plus negative three times positive three is negative nine and then minus negative three times four y is negative twelve y. So while this is correct, we normally would not leave it in this form. Adding a negative is the same as subtracting a positive. So we could write plus negative nine as just minus nine. And then here, subtracting a negative is the same as adding a positive, And therefore we can write minus negative twelve y as plus twelve y. So it's more common to write this as fifteen x minus nine and then plus twelve y. Another way to simplify this without showing so much work would be to think of this as negative three times negative five x, which gives us positive fifteen x. Then negative three times positive three, which is negative nine, so we just write minus nine. And then finally, negative three times negative four y, which would be positive twelve y, so we can just write plus twelve y. Looking at our second example, we have two x times the quantity three x squared minus y plus one. So we'll distribute two x or multiply each term inside the parentheses by two x. So we'll have two x times three x squared minus two x times y plus two x times one. So again we'll have two x times three x squared minus two x times y plus two x times one. So two x times three x squared would be six x to the third. Remember this is x to the first, so we have three factors of x. So six x cubed, or six x to the third, minus two x times y, that'd be two x y. And then we have plus two x times one, which would just be two x. Notice we cannot combine any of these terms because these are not like terms. The variable parts are not exactly the same. I hope you found these examples helpful.